So two weeks in a row with the Zoom F6 coming out with videos and topics that I've thought of over the past couple of months and last week's episode was because of you guys and uh, helping me out learn more about this device. Now, when it comes to gear and stuff, I really am not a big fan of updating firmware because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I live by that a lot with just about everything. But certain things, certain gear, they need to be updated because it's optimizing it to get the full potential out of it. That's what it's made for. It's made to make the experience that much more fluent and that much more better. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Zoom F6 and how to update it, what updates have come out, and how they're gonna help you use this device to its fullest potential. But before we get started, if you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. And if you wanna ask me more directly, I stream on this channel and on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday for about an hour about here. And then I move over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash ghetto happy and uh, continue on with the stream and talk to you guys, play games and have a good time. Also, if you found this video helpful, entertaining or anything whatsoever, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It's crazy to think the Zoom F6 has been out for a year and uh, I looked through the firmware updates and saw that there wasn't many. Uh, to be honest, for the first year, it's done pretty well and little bugs here and there that they had to fix, but uh, I've had it since December and haven't updated it once. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know there was updates, but uh, I, it got me thinking a couple weeks ago when I was prepping for that video last week. Uh, is there any updates? And there were, there were a bunch. Well, not a bunch, but there was five, essentially. So the first thing I'm gonna get into is what were those updates? What's the most recent update? And eventually we're gonna get into how to update this thing, which is a little bit wonky and convoluted if you ask me. So first up on our list, we have the release update. So basically what the Zoom F6 was released with, the firmware it was released with at launch in September of last year, 2019. And it was the 1.02 firmware which basically is just the production, final production, final software that was ready to go out to the people. So next up, we have version 1.1, which is the first, first real update for the firmware. So this update came out right after the release in September of 2019. And basically it just helped the uh, connection to the iOS devices. Obviously the Bluetooth the adapter that goes into it can allow you to connect it to a iOS device. Hasn't been announced for Androids yet. Hopefully, maybe one day. I use an iPhone so it doesn't really affect me, but for you guys, it, I know a lot of people that use Androids and it's unfortunate that certain apps aren't available. And vice versa, there are certain ones for Androids that are unavailable for iOS, so it'd be cool if they could play nice one day maybe. This leads us into our second update, the 1.2 firmware update, which was released in October of 2019. And this basically covers a freezing issue during playback. So I assume it just froze up when any time you were trying to play back the previous recordings or whatever it may be. Now the next one is 1.3, which was released in January of 2020, uh, before the world went to hell in a handbasket. And uh, it's pretty good for the first six months of this device being out. Uh, three updates, not major ones, and uh, that's a good sign for this device. It's good sign for trust and good sign for its longevity throughout its life. So this 1.3 update just covered a delay issue with phantom power and limiters. So if you had a phantom power and a limiter on, it had some delay with the signal. I assume it was too much or wasn't optimized properly for the use while other things were running. It was too many things running at once and it couldn't figure out how to relay the message. But that's just my uh, understanding, my layman's understanding about it. <laughs> Now up to the second to last update that was put out, which came out in March of 2020, this year. If uh, you guys have forgotten, it's 2020 and uh, I can't wait for it to be over, to be honest. Don't wish away time, but 2020, we could pretty much wish away that year. Now this update, it says that it's a modification 
due to new electronic parts, uh, which I can only assume it's for models that came out after that. And uh, electronic parts, they may have changed uh, since release. And uh, this, is a, this doesn't apply to mine, at least I don't think so, uh, because I got it before that. So maybe, maybe not, not sure. It could, it depends on when they put those different electronic parts into their devices. Uh, I'm not really sure on which. They really didn't give me much information, but that's about it. <laughs> and finally, we have the version 1.5, which came out in May of 2020, this year. And uh, it's certainly the biggest update that they've had. This 1.5 update covers the noise issue from the line out port. Uh, if you've used audio devices and have used uh, multiple types of audio devices, when it's a difference in frequency or difference in power consumption or power input output, uh, the circuitry can create noise. There are apparatuses and things you could put in between to reduce that noise, but you try to do it as much as you can from the source. And if you could do it with a firmware update, that's even better. And I don't really use the line out as much as I think I should. Uh, I think it's really for people who have cameras that are much more fancy than the one that I have. Yes, could I use it? Yeah, but I like my audio and my um, camera separate. Maybe it would help with syncing, but I do my clap syncs. I keep things very simple, very primitive to some people. And uh, maybe one day when I work with more fancy equipment. Maybe I'll start using it and use the time code and everything like that. But until that day, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, just so you know, if you have this device and you use the line out, this does help that noise issue. It might not be foolproof because like I said, there are different circuitries and different power inputs and outputs for different devices that create that noise. Just like you have with microphones, they have a noise floor that each microphone has based on the circuitry. Obviously, the more you pay for a microphone, the less noise you're gonna have, or at least you should. Uh, and if you've been on this channel, you know that's one of the things that I point out in my mic reviews, uh, the noise output uh, or the noise level that it has. So a very important bit of information about gear, especially audio gear that you buy. Now for the million dollar question, how the heck do you update this thing? And from what I've seen, a lot of Zoom uh, products are like this. They are, they are updated very weird, uh, at least from what I've seen in the past with updating firmware for other types of gear that I've had. And uh, this is the way that I did it. Uh, there are various ways, same path, but a little bit different. This is the way that I did it, and I know that it works. So if you wanna follow it that way, cool. If you wanna follow it, by the uh, exact words that they say in the manual, that's fine too. This is just how I did it. And I, I totally blame myself on this of not figuring it out because to be honest, I didn't read the manual and I had to read the manual to figure it out. I thought I could be all a hot shot and everything like that and figure it out on my own. Like I do a lot of things, but this was not the case. Uh, I actually got pretty close because uh, it was kind of made sense, but I didn't want to make a mistake on something like this that I don't understand fully. So this is how you do it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is make sure your battery is full or your power source is full. Uh, I would suggest plugging in the USB-C cord so you don't have to worry about the, the battery draining at any point during this process. Chances are it's going to be fine, but I would just do it just to be safe. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, and I've seen different ways of doing it, you could leave the SD card in, you could plug it into your computer and uh, relay the data that way, but this is the way that I did it. Take out the SD card, plug it into your computer. You're gonna go to the Zoom website and go to the Zoom F6. In the top right corner, you're gonna see support and downloads or something like that. There's gonna be a list of a bunch of things that you're gonna see that are in regards to the Zoom F6. Manuals, uh, updates, and all types of stuff. You're gonna wanna go down to the Zoom F6 updates, and I think at this point it's 1.5. Uh, I can't, this is, uh, let's see, September of 2020. So if this is sometime in the future and there's a future update, follow that one. So 1.5, September of 2020. And the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna download that zip file. 
simple folder, you extract it and open it up. There's gonna be two files in there. One, a PDF file that lists all the updates and the info and details of those updates. And the other one is a .bin file. This .bin file is basically your firmware update. So this .bin file will be on your SD card if you have optimized that specific SD card for the Zoom F6. So you're gonna see a bunch of folders and you're gonna see a bin file at the bottom. What I did is I deleted the one that was in the SD card. It doesn't say to do that, but that's what I did. Delete that. Recycle it out of your uh, recycling bin or if you're on a Mac, whatever trash bin, I guess it is, trash can. I don't know, I don't use a Mac. Then what you're gonna do is simply copy the one that's in the zip file that you just downloaded and paste it into the SD card that you have in there. Simple as that. Once that's ready to go, plug it back into the Zoom F6 when it's off. And at this point, you're going to turn it back on. But before you turn it back on, you have to hold the power button and the play slash pause button at the same time. I'd say about five seconds, uh, hold it down. At this point, it will open up a menu that says update system. You will also see two options, cancel and update. Pretty simple, if you wanna update, go ahead, update it. It'll take a couple minutes, uh, probably not that long. I think it took like three, four, maybe even five minutes for me, not that long. And considering I never updated this thing, it was pretty fast. Once it's updated, you're gonna see four green lights with it saying complete and po please power off, which go ahead and power it off. Like anything, like your computer and like anything, you need to reset it to allow the update to complete. Turn it off and then turn it back on and you're ready to go. The things to do now to make sure that it's updated to the proper firmware is on startup, you will see in the bottom right corner the firmware update number. If you're updating to firmware update 1.5, you'll see 1.5 in the bottom corner. If you don't and you see these other numbers, it didn't work properly. Chances are if you went through that whole process, it should work. The other way you can figure it out is you're going to have to go into the menu, then go into system. Once you're in system, go to firmware version. And the first number you're gonna see is the current version that you have. The other numbers are uh, uh, reload or reset options, which what it will revert back to if you do a hard reset or a hard boot on it. All right, so that is updating your Zoom F6 and uh, understanding what firmware updates have come out uh, throughout this past year of the Zoom F6 coming out. Uh, it really is a really great device. It really is one of the most perfect things you can own as an audio person, as a production person. Just anybody who works with audio in their life, it really is something to consider getting because it does a lot. It really, really does a lot and you get more value out of it than it's priced for. It, this is a steal for the price that it is. And I've worked with a lot of audio devices that are more expensive, less expensive, and I haven't been this fortunate with those devices as much as I am with this one. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked that video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing for more videos that are coming out in the future. If you have any questions, comments, or anything whatsoever, or if you just wanna have a conversation about gear and tech, please leave it down in the comment section down below. You could also talk to me more directly while I stream on this channel and on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday day twitch.tv slash ghetto happy is my twitch channel so just give me a follow there and uh you'll be updated when i go live and also you'll be updated when you go live if you subscribe too so until next time be safe be kind if you go out wear a mask and i'll see you next time oh treasure i found the banana or a ancient sex toy Nope, I'm not, nope, I'm not going to say it. Nope, I'm not going to say it. And my mind has gone to really, really, really weird places.